Purdy spot is perfect for Lilac to plant her cornflowers. Didn't I now, Spearmint? Yes, you did. Zinnia, oh, you know me so well. Oh, I'll check back with you later. Yeehaw, Spearmint! Lily Butts? <laughs> cornflowers! As you know, Every spring, I redecorate my house and sew new curtains, pillows, and sheets, which I color with dye made from flower petals. And this year's hot color? Blue. Blue's nice. Lovely. I'll pick the petals. Not yet, Daph. The cornflowers will be even bluer and more beautiful after they spent some time in the sun. Let's go have breakfast. Now you're talking. Race you to the buttercup. <laughs> oh! <laughs> hey, guys. Want to watch us fly our new kite? It's my first time. <laughs> we turtles don't spend much time outside our shells when it's windy. And boy, oh boy, is it windy. <laughs> Guillaume, you're right. I hope the cornflowers will be okay. They'll be fine, Lilac. It's always windy in springtime. Oh! Got oh. you, buddy. <laughs> We're flying a kite, not you. I have to check on my flowers. Mm. Oh, no. My beautiful petals. There's too much wind to grow more flowers. Oh, I always redecorate on the first day of spring, and now I can't because of this awful wind. But, Lilac, you do know that the springtime wind is really important. I don't care what it's for, Daph. It's ruined my favorite day of the year. Oh, boy, oh, boy! It, it's like magic! I can't wait to tell my turtle friends about this. I have to watch the direction of the wind. I don't want the kite to get stuck in those branches. Oh. Cap, it's stuck! <laughs> See? I was right. The wind is horrible. Say hello to the worst season ever. This is probably why I never flew a kite before. Well, that and I'm pretty small, but not very fast. Don't worry, Guillaume. We'll get your kite down for you. Right, Cap? Uh, sure. I just don't know how. Hmm. I just saw Lilac. She's pretty upset about this wind. Could be days before it stops blowing. Hello, lily buds. Young turtle. Hello, rodent. Why are you all staring up at my favorite tree? Hey, Ellery. Mm. Our kite got stuck. <laughs> mm, that is a problem. Why don't you just climb up and get it? That's what I would do. You climb trees, Ellery. <laughs> what a question. Psst, Cap. Maybe he could get our kite down so we could try again? Uh, well, sure, we can ask. Um, uh, Ellery, could you climb this tree and get our kite down for us? <sighs> Sorry, I'm hmm? very busy at the moment. Uh... We could get you some breakfast from the buttercup as a thank you. I suppose I could climb that tree and bring down your kite. Thank oh, you, Ellery. Thank you. However, like all chipmunk tree climbers, I will need uh, uh, to do yeah, some warm-up exercises first. <sighs> Just a reminder, it's been a while since I've done this kind of thing, but since you're all so upset about this kite, I'll do it. Hmm, I'm really more of an on-the-ground chipmunk, but I can't turn down the offer of a nice breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> Got it! I believe this is your 
kite. Oh, you're a hero, an honest-to-goodness hero. I have to admit, Ellery, I didn't think you could do it. This deserves a delicious meal at the Buttercup. <gasps> mm. I heard you earned this. If you all insist. We do, Super Chipmunk. Oh, it's you again. It was amazing to watch. <laughs> That's so. Oh, any chipmunk could have done what I did. Not as well as me, naturally. But we are powerful climbers, even when it's windy. I think you're even more powerful than the wind. What? Definitely. So you could help me with your powers? You could stop the wind for me? Sure, sure. Mm. I'll meet you in the meadow this afternoon. You'll stop the wind, I'll grow new flowers, and then I can have my blue petals. Bye! Mm. Thorn, you have really outdone yourself with this lunch. Would you fetch me some more sunflower seeds from the kitchen? Of course, anything. Well, now I've heard everything. You can stop the wind. <laughs> Wherever did you hear that? You just told Lilac that you can control the wind. You're supposed to meet her this afternoon in the meadow. Oh, that. It's no big deal for a chipmunk with my skills. Thorn, that was delicious, but I really must go. Goodbye. Huh? <gasps> uh, you bird. Oh, why did I ever agree to get down that kite? I could be in my normal spot right now, trying to sneak into Thorn's kitchen. Not called a hero, and certainly not expected to stop the wind. Oh, but if I go home right now, I won't get in any more trouble, and in a few days this will all blow over. Yes, that's what I'll do. <laughs> Hello? Is that you, Ellery? What are you doing here? I came after you to bring you the sunflower seeds when the wind knocked me into this hole. And, well, now I can't get up. I lucky you found me. I could have been stuck here for a long time. Thank you. <laughs> no need to thank me. It's not as if I ended up in this hole on purpose. Wait until everyone hears that you were a hero. Again! Ooh, I suppose it wouldn't hurt for them to all know. When I get back to the village, I'm going to tell Cap and, and Moss and Daffodil and... and, oh, and... Thorn. Don't forget Thorn. He doesn't like to be left out. <laughs> He'll probably insist on making you a special dinner. <laughs> oh. He will, won't he? <clears throat> All right, then. Hmm, how are we going to get you back on your feet? Let's try this! Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Ellery. You saved my life. Let's not get carried away. Someone would have found you in that hole. Someday. The wind is still strong, but let's get back to the village. I'll protect you. Young fellow in a shell. Oh, I thought you were Ellery. Has anyone seen him yet? Is he already in the meadow? No, but there's something you have to see. Close your eyes. It's a surprise. You can open your eyes now. <gasps> Cornflowers. They're beautiful. Did Ellery stop the wind so you could grow these for me? No, the wind stopped on its own. But first, it did something incredible. It blew the seeds from the cornflowers we planted earlier all the way over here. Now can you stop being mad at the wind and have lunch with us? You two go ahead. I want to stay with these beautiful flowers a little more. Everyone, guess what? I fell into a hole and Ellery saved me again. And he brought me back here in all this wind. Oh, boy. Ellery, I can admit when I'm wrong. Guess you are a hero after all. Come have some lunch. As much as it pains me to refuse, I have to say no. There's someone I need to see. Hi, Ellery. Isn't this blue color pretty? I made it from the cornflower petals. Ah, very nice. So you finally collected your petals, which means I won't have to stop the wind now. Oh, definitely not. We need the wind in the springtime. 
Not just for seeds, but all kinds of things in nature. That's just as well. Because between us, I'm not sure that my wind powers are working today. That's okay, Ellery. In fact, if you think about it, the springtime wind is the real hero today. Hero? I don't know if I'd go that far. Hey, Lilac, the wind's picking up again. You want to go kite flying with us? Sure. Do you want to come, Ellery? No, thank you, Guillaume. But go on, enjoy your new hero, the wind. I changed my mind. Save me a plate. Save me a plate. <gasps> he knows my name. Bye, Ellery. Oh you never know where a lily bud might be hiding. Subscribe to ZK Junior now and be first to see our latest videos.